If you're feeling in the mood to decorate some amazing cookies, then you're in the right place. I'm so excited in this video. I'm showing you some really cool tips and tricks and techniques and invite you to follow along with me as we decorate some fantastic cookies. Friends and family are gonna be so happy when you share these really cute cookies with them too. So, all right, let's get started. Come on in, we're gonna to get to decorating today. I have in front of me some, what are gonna be ocean themed cookies. So we've, we've got a circle over here, we're gonna turn into a sand dollar. And as you can tell by this shape, this is a shell. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to decorate these. Um, in front of me, I've got just some basic tools. I've got some scissors that I cut my bags with. And then I've got my scribe tool I'm gonna to put out here. For our round sand dollar, I've just got some beige icing and you can do any color that you want, but I decided to do just kind of a beige sand for a sand dollar. And I've got some uh, outline consistency and I've got some, some flood consistency. And then same for my kind of peachy pink here, we're gonna do my shell in this peachy pink and I've got some really fun sprinkles that we're gonna to add to it too when we do our details. So, this little mini class with these cookies, we do have a stage where they're gonna to need to dry. So we're gonna go ahead and outline and flood. We're gonna let them dry and then we'll bring them back and do details. So, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my sand dollar over here. And I do have this one cut to a pretty thin width. Um, it's gonna help when I do the details, but it's also gonna serve just great uh, to do this outline. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the, the sand dollar really has kind of five main sections. And what I'm gonna start, I just want you to follow along. So if you just watch, I'm gonna do five kind of teardrop shapes and then I'm gonna do a kind of a wonky outline around the edge, but don't worry, um, it's gonna turn into a sand dollar. Okay, so I've got right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do teardrop shape. Now they're gonna look a little bit bigger. They're not gonna end up, well, once they're flooded and everything, these aren't gonna end up looking so big. But what happens when you flood is it, it kind of takes over, the flood kind of takes over and ends up looking, this, this little cutout piece is gonna end up looking a lot smaller. Okay, so this, this doesn't have to be exact either. Okay, so now around the edge, I wanna create like a little divot and then go ahead and create that first section. I'm gonna go in, create the next one. They don't have to be exact. That's the third one over there, this one. Whoops. And feel free to go ahead and rotate your cookie. All right, so this one, I want to be this one. And then around. Awesome, okay. So the next step is I'm gonna grab my flood and I do need to cut this one. So I'm just gonna cut this to, you know, it's gonna be about spaghetti thickness there. And this was sitting for just a second, so if that happens with you, you've mixed your icing and if it sits for a minute, just go ahead and massage the bag, get all the, the get a, make sure it's all really nice and mixed together. And we're gonna go ahead and flood. So I'm gonna do these little, around these teardrops first. And then I'm gonna go around the edge. All right, so if decorating cookies is your happy place, like it is mine, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Throw me a thumbs up. If this is your happy place, or you want it to be your happy place, <laughs> let me know. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fill this whole thing in. Pretty well, we're gonna, don't overfill it, but I definitely wanna make sure that it gets Nice and filled. All right, I'm gonna grab my scribe. Got a few air bubbles here, so I'm gonna give them a little zhuzh. So if you are not loving the shape of your sand dollar, or maybe you feel like the outline edges aren't quite what you wanted, it's okay, because when we put details on, we can sharpen up any edges, we can make it look a little more kind of how you want, but I, if you've done and followed along and kind of followed what I just showed you, then it's gonna turn out great. All right, so this one is ready to dry. I'm gonna put this one off to the side. 
I'm gonna be really careful. Look at that, I just stuck my fingernail in it. Hold on. No problem, look at that. We just smooth it out again. I'm gonna be careful when I pick this one up, just make sure I pick it up from the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna set that way over here to dry. Let's dive into our seashell. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and outline and flood this thing. And I've got a pretty thin line just because this is, this is the thickness that I want when I do the details. And uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna turn out just fine for flooding too. Oops, it doesn't wanna play nice. There we go. All right, then go ahead and grab your pink flood or whatever color you're using. Make sure you grab your flood and go ahead and flood it in. So the first time that I ever did kind of a sea theme, um, it was kind of a mermaid theme. Pretty sure I did it for my daughter's birthday and then ended up doing a couple of custom orders for them too. And these were some of the funnest shapes to do. Just wait till we do the details and get the sprinkles on there. Oh, it's so fun. All right, let's get some icing, really good flood in here. Let's break out that scribe. I'm gonna Make sure that it's all nice and mixed in. Get rid of some of those air bubbles. Get a good flood on here. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect enough. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. Because we're gonna add details later. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and let that dry too. And as soon as they are crusted over, at least crusted over, then I'll bring them back and we'll finish up the details on them. While those are drying, let me say thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you want to amaze your friends and family and create the most awesome good looking cookies that they've ever seen, you're in the right place. This channel is where deliciousness meets joy and fun with cookies. We're all about having fun with cookies here and I'm gonna show you how to make cookies that look impressive but are also easy to make and totally doable. So please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you don't miss an episode, hit that notification bell and be sure to share this with your friends, your family, coworkers, anybody that you think might like to learn a little bit more about cookies and baking. So it really helps out. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And now let's check out our cookies. I've got some that are dried and I'm gonna bring them back here and we'll do our details. All right, so I've got my dry, um, my dry sand dollar and my dry shell and I've got some, my detail, um, my detail, kind of my thicker icing consistency here. And then same over here. Let me show you what details we're gonna put on. And then I have a surprise for you after that too. Okay, so take a look at this. We're basically going to do a nice outline around all of these edges, and it's really gonna help this cookie come together. And I'm, I wanted to do this one to show you, like you can do some really just simple, even one color designs that end up looking like really impressive and really nicely done. Okay, so we are bringing this around. All right, there we go. And then for these little teardrops, we're gonna start at the tip and go around. And so this is where it comes in where if you didn't love how they those shapes turned out, you can we kind of get to kind of recreate the shape and um, get it back to kind of what you were what you were hoping. If you were, if you like your teardrop shape, how you did it initially before you flooded, that is awesome too. You can just go ahead and copy that exact line. Ooh, 
there we go. That one just didn't go all quite up to the edge. I'm gonna help it. There we go. Look at that. If you wanted to add some sparkle to it, you could put that together with our shell and watch what happens here. So for our shell, I want you to create one kind of central point down at the bottom and we're gonna just put a little dot there. Okay, we're gonna end up putting some sprinkles there after we do our detail lines, but um, we're gonna create some scallops down at the bottom. It you can be four, it can be five, and if it ends up just being three, that's fine. But we're gonna kind of do that teardrop shape all down here and I'm gonna do one side and then the other and then fill it in. And I think I could fit two more. So we're gonna do one, one here. I'm just gonna do another one. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with all of our big scallops, okay? So I'm gonna start here. Oh, it's curling up on me. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and create separate scallops for each one. If you wanna build off of that second one, you can. Like this, whoop. Look at that beautiful shell shape. All right, now what we're gonna do is get some of our sprinkles on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this a little bit. I want a little bit of icing there so our sprinkles can really get stuck and sing right there. Now, I've got this little sprinkle mix right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a few. And then I always like to have some tweezers on hand to fill in to fill in uh, and kind of move the sprinkles around. Okay, so we've got a few on there. Let me grab my tweezers. Got them, okay. So there's a few of these green ones I would love to have in here. This is one of the secrets to getting your, getting your sprinkles to look awesome is actually placing them right where you want them. Sometimes when you just sprinkle them on, you don't quite get, you know, the look that you're going for. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over to shake any other ones off. Okay, there we go. There's a few more, I want a couple, a couple more of these green pieces mixed in here. Gives a little contrast and then a few more blue pieces too. Those are pretty. Maybe another gold one right there. Oop, trying to grab that blue piece. There we go. Okay. So these these, these um, tweezers, I love these tweezers. You can find these on my Amazon favorite shop. If you go to lollysomekitchen.com, I've got a whole list of Amazon uh, Amazon favorites. You can find these tweezers over there. They're more fine point tweezers for this kind of thing. And then if there's some sprinkles that got and stuff where you didn't want them, you can go ahead and remove them or join them in where they're supposed to go. There we go. I'm gonna leave that one right there. Whoop. There we go. Okay, there we go. There's my pretty shell with all of the sprinkles on there and I've got my sand dollar and I wanna show you just one more, okay? Okay, I wanna show you just one more. I actually have a starfish here. I have this one already outlined and flooded. It's a really pretty sea green color and I'm gonna show you how to throw some details on here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've already got this cut. So I've got a pretty fine line here. I think I might cut it just a little bit more. And what I've done with this one, this is just a regular star shape. So when I outlined this, I created some variation in the, I didn't, I didn't 
I didn't uh, line the exact cookie shape. I actually created some variation when I went around so that it, it made it more of a kind of an interesting sand dollar shape. Not a sand dollar, I'm sorry, starfish shape. We're working with the starfish now. Okay, so now we're going to outline and add some dots that will turn this into the cutest starfish ever. Stop there. All right. So let's do this. I'm gonna join that line right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a big dot in the center. And then I'm gonna do some going out on each arm here. Turn this so I can do the other two. And see, I'm not doing a straight line. I'm just kind of following the curve of the the point of the star. So sometimes it's easy to get carried away and thinking that oh my cookies have to be perfect, and they don't have to be perfect according to other people's standards. They just need to be something that you enjoy and um, really there's no such thing as perfect, just what you love and what you think is wonderful and beautiful. So there we go. I wanted to show you the starfish too, along with our sand dollar and our pretty little shell. I hope that you enjoyed this little mini class and um, can use some of these techniques on other cookies as well. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to make some of these cookies, I'd love to know. And if you really want to improve your royal icing technique a little bit more, get really good at straight lines and would like to do it fast, look no further. I've created a simple, easy to use one page guide to help you practice and improve and master your royal icing piping technique fast. All you have to do is click the link in the description below, enter your details. I'll send it directly to your inbox. So go grab right now your free copy of Royal Icing Practice Sheet right now.